Hi my beautiful fellow queens, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. This video is in collaboration with Rapunzel who is supplying these beautiful scarves and this is my festive winter wrap. Of course it has nothing to do with winter, you can always wrap this wrap <laughs> and have fun with it and create your own style and your own version of it. So I hope you really enjoy that. You will find everything that I'm using linked in the description box as well as all the information about my discount code that you can use when you're ordering to get 5% off your order. So feel free to do that. And besides that, if you're interested in how I came up with this look and how it's all done and all of that, then just keep on watching. <music> Hi my friends, okay so we are starting out with the Wendy Shaper. I'm trying to do something a little bit different in my setup today. I did not put on my clip on microphone because it always interferes while I'm rapping. So I have it in front of me and I hope that works out and I, when I'm turning around I will not be able to talk to you because then I'm turning away from the microphone and you will not be able to hear me. So the thing is, <laughs> um, you have requested a look in uh, white blue and silver. I spoke to Rapunzel and they said they're going to send me something because I didn't have those colors. I only had the white, the lovely lace and uh, the package didn't get here. So, but I have to film this now because of Hanukkah. I wanted to dedicate this look to Hanukkah and I'm going to just wing it a little bit and make a few minor changes, okay? So instead of a blue scarf from Rapunzel, I'm using something that resemb resembles <laughs> very much the tough two-in-one. And it is, it is sort of a little bit the same material. It might be a little bit bigger than uh, the original, but um, that's what I'm gonna use. And, but that's the only thing that is not from Rapunzel that I'm going to use, okay? But I will link the tough two-in-one in the description box as well as all the other things that I'm using. So uh, you have an easier time finding it. Then I'm using the Wendy Shaper, obviously. The lovely lace, which is sort of nice because you have requested more looks with lace anyway. And... I'm using the Golden Shimmery because I don't have anything in silver and I was considering going and buying something in silver but then I thought I'm not going to use it for anything after that because I don't like it so um, I'm not going to do it. So just replace the Golden with the silver and you're set, okay? Okay friends, we're starting out putting on, I'm going to call it the uh, Tough 2-in-1, okay? Because just for the matter of calling it something. So I'm going to put this down. I've folded it in because it is pretty, pretty big <laughs> and I'm tying it in the back. Like that. Then I'm taking one side it doesn't matter which one, it just depends on where you want to have the feature. So I always lean to having my features here, but whatever, it doesn't make uh, any difference. You just adjust it to whatever you want and you pull this one up and sort of push it in the back. Like this. So now you have this one hanging down. Next, you put on the lovely lace. And I'm just going to put that like this, moving it back a little bit so one can still see the blue. And then tying it in the back over the tail end. I'll show you in a second. Like this. Next, I'm taking this side here. Again, that's the same side that I also wrapped over in the tough two-in-one. And bringing up the lace. And yes, I want this to be visible and I'm not tucking this away. And 
and I'm bringing up the lace part from the other side and I'm tying it here. And I'm going to use a double knot because, carefully, <laughs> so you don't damage the fringes, uh, because I want to feed something through here and I don't want it to be loose and uh, start to slip. So next thing is <laughs> the gold. Okay, so I was thinking, <laughs> what am I gonna do with this? So I'm placing this here at the back of my neck. I'm lining it up so it hangs down equally in front of me. And then I'm moving it to that same side without, without letting it slip, okay? So it's still here hanging down equally. And then I'm going to tie a knot. And I'll place the knot behind that knot of the uh, dreamy lace, like this. Now with the shimmery, you have to see how you feel about it. But with the shimmery, it could be that you have to also tie a double knot because it tends to be a little bit on the slippery side. So um, check whatever you feel comfortable with. Next, I'm bringing that upper side, the upper strand of the shimmery, over back to this side, placing it a little bit behind the first one and tucking it in in the back. And then I'm taking the second strand of the shimmery and I'm pushing it through the knot of the shimmery. like this and I'm fluffing out this part. Okay, now I'm taking the only remaining thing here, <laughs> the tough two-in-one, and if you take the original tough two-in-one then you'll have an easier time because it is not as wide and as big as this one. Okay, so uh, don't worry. <laughs> So what I'm going to do with this is I want to create more volume here, like a little bit more of a festive oomph. And I also feel that there is something darker missing here. It's just very light, everything, and I just need a little bit more, <laughs> something more substantial. <laughs> okay, so I'm bringing this up. So this one has these um, fringes here all around, all around the whole... Um, scarf so i don't like that right now so i'm trying to fold those in i'm bringing it up behind the shimmery and now i'm pushing it here through the knot of the uh, dreamy lace now as i said you might have an easier time doing this because um, the original tough two-in-one is smaller <laughs> There we go. Happy end. Now the next thing you do with the tough two-in-one is you feed it back through this knot this time, the knot of the shimmery. Towards the back like this. And you create a nice little puff right here. And the rest you just let hang down like this. So you have these three elements here. And I think the, the shimmery and the lace and this is such a such an elegant, festive kind of a thing. And then this creates a very nice backdrop for those colors to show up better. So I think this is really, really pretty. Um, I know that these are all elements of wraps that I have done before. But honestly, you know, there is a limited amount of new things that a person can come up with. So I think the secret is, and I want to encourage you to do that in your own wrapping, just use the elements you know and try to combine them differently because that's what you do, that's creativity. So uh, I think we achieved something really nice. I'm going to turn around now and show you how it looks from the back, even though I have not seen it from the back. I hope it looks half decent, 
but I really really like this this here hanging down and you know this whole it's like a festive but not too strict kind of a look and I really love it so let me turn around like this I hope you like it let me know if you like it and I will not try this one out with a smaller shaper but you feel free to do so and let me know how it works out I really hope you did like this tutorial and if you are the one who requested the white and silver and blue look I'm sorry I could not I could not because I did not just want to go and buy something for one tutorial and then not use it again. So uh, you just have to adjust it to whatever you like and I hope you will because this is really festive. <laughs> and when I'm filming this today, tonight, we are um, starting to celebrate Hanukkah. So this is going to be my look for the first night of Hanukkah and I really love it. So if you do, and if you're new here, then please subscribe to my channel. I would really love for you to be part of my family here, my wonderful, beautiful tribe that we're creating <laughs> in my kingdom. And um, other than that, I hope that everybody enjoyed. And if you did, then please give me a like and come back next time for my next video, which will also be a very, very special one that is dedicated to love. <laughs> so if you're intrigued then just come back for my next one and up until next time just do me one single favor go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye